So I recently got some questions about where exactly do I find programs to use? So of course I do videos on all these different programs. Where do I actually find them? How do I learn about them? Do I just randomly install programs in the repository and then try them out? Typically no. Um, now it's not like I have some kind of uh, set way of finding minimalist or terminal based programs or something like that that I always follow. But in this video, I want to show you some good sources, good places to start if you're looking for something new uh, that I've found useful on one occasion or the other, or you might find useful. Um, so the first website that I think is worth looking at, and this is probably one of the better ones, is suckless.org. So suckless.org, if you go to suckless.org slash rocks. Now, if you don't know about suckless, I, I think we've talked about them on uh, my channel before, but suckless is... I guess a group of programmers and other enthusiasts who are into minimal code, in efficiently written code, and they, although they have some software that they make themselves, like Surf the browser or ST the terminal or DWM the window manager, they also have this page suckless.org/rocks where they recommend some of those programs and other programs that are generally minimalist or generally non-bloated, and this is a pretty good place to start if you want to just check some stuff out. Uh, for example, a lot of these programs I've used at some point, I used to use MOC, Music on Console, to do my music. Now I use MPD. Um, I use Newsboat, I use Ranger. Uh, so a lot of these recommendations are pretty strong. Uh, I use Fair, you know, etc. So you can definitely check these out, and they're also not too extreme. For example, I think down in web browsers, they have a bunch of recommendations for web browsers, but they also say uh, you can use Firefox with some Vim extensions because, I mean, frankly, you know, when it comes to web browsing, the unfortunate fact is the web is just so bloated, sometimes you need a bloated browser. But uh, regardless, the recommendations here are pretty decent. Um, a lot of them I've tried, I've played around with, and I think pretty much every main program I use is probably in this list. So I definitely recommend it if you're just looking for, if you're not happy with whatever program you're using, I, I recommend just checking this kind of stuff out. Um, now secondly, this is actually a link, this is a, a GitHub page uh, put up by this guy, May Frost, and a couple of you guys have actually recommended this to me. I didn't originally found, find it a couple of, I got a couple emails being like, hey, check out this, this is pretty nice. So this is a much more extensive uh, list of different ca categories of programs and minimalist software for each category. Now it's organized in such a way, so if you look at uh, you know, any particular entry, they're supposed to be organized such that the one on the left is the more bloated equivalent and as you move towards the right, you get more and more minimal. So for any of these particular options, they're all going to be you know, non-bloatware, but uh, there's sort of a, I guess a more, ex you know, the ones on the left are more traditional GUI integrated software where the ones on the right tend to be more extensive, more terminal based or more command line based or something like that. So I have, you know, the, again, the recommendations here, there are obviously are a whole lot more content and stuff like that. Uh, but I've definitely looked at these or just sort of compared. I, I will say I don't agree with everything on this document, but I think they're generally... Uh, good recommendation. So I'll link, I'll give you this link, and I might actually, just in case it moves, I might mirror it on my website or something like that. But, um, you know, generally I think they're pretty good recommendations as for what is minimal and what isn't. Um, now, if you want to go much more extreme, uh, a site you can check out is Cat V, run by the late Uriel, whatever his name is. I, I don't know, actually know his last name, but. Um, so this is a, a little, I don't, I don't want to say, I almost don't, don't want to present this as a real recommendation because some of this stuff is, um, I guess, more idealistic, but, you know, there's this nice little chart, harmful.cat-v.org slash software. I'll put the, you know, link in the description or whatever. But it lists out some, you know, he, the, the guy who ran the site, Uriel and the other people, I, I guess, who are associated have um, much more... Uh, picky standards than the people in Suckless as to what is bloat and what isn't. So you can check out this little chart, which some of the recommendations I think are a little extreme, uh, but some of them I think are at least worth looking at because they make you think. So for example, don't use the GNU core utils, use Plan 9 from user space or something like that. Or don't use PDFs, use Deja Vu 
and there are different reasons for this. They're not all justified here. You sort of have to understand their mindset to get into it. But uh, I will say, I will say, the first time I, I was recommended this website, I saw this one at the bottom. Like, don't use head. You know, the the shell utility to print the first ten lines of a file. Uh, use said eleven Q. And I was like, that is the most autistic thing I have ever seen. Except for now, I unironically do it. So, <laughs> so you will never see head in anything I write anymore. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I do think this is worth checking out, um, just to check out. Although, I don't know how seriously, especially if you're a beginner user, you're probably not going to take any of these uh, recommendations too seriously. They're really just going to make you think. Now, one, uh, one page, of course, that isn't useful to me, but it might be useful to you, is the page on my website where I list out all the programs I use, which... I find that many people have not been able to find, despite the fact I li link my website in every video. <laughs> but just go to lukesmith.xyz slash programs, and this will give you a list of not just my server setup, but all the different programs I use and some of the programs I used to use uh, on GNU Linux, including some of the hardware I use and, you know, other stuff. So this contains not just a list of the programs I've used, but some that I've used in the past and links to all the videos that I've done. Well, not all the videos, but some of the videos on, I've done on each of them. So if you want to learn about Mutt, I link my two videos. I link Mutt Wizard, stuff like that. So if you have questions about me or questions about any program that I use, just check this first because the answers are probably there. If you want to know what program I use for whatever, you know, usually people just want to know what's the program you use for that file manager. It's it's just Ranger, just. <laughs> but um, yeah. So check check this page out. It pretty much has most of the stuff I use. If there's anything I forgot, you might want to ask me in the comments or email me, and I'll put it up. But I try and aggregate pretty much everything here. Again, lukesmith.xyz slash programs. I'll put all the links in the description or in a comment. Now, lastly, um, one site that you might want to check out is the G-Wiki, Install Gen 2 Wiki, which is wiki.installgen2.com. They have an article up on recommended GNU Linux software. And if you happen to use, you know, Windows or Mac OS for whatever reason, they do have pages recommending software for that. And these, of course, the recommendations here are going to be based on, is it free software? And, well, I will say this is less, uh, they have recommendations that are less based on, is it minimalist software? And they'll have more normie tier recommendations. Uh, a lot of these are, are bigger programs. So if you're, this might be better if you're a, a Linux newbie, I guess. And you want to have familiar looking programs that are familiar to your, uh, experience on Mac OS or Windows, this might be a better option to check. The, the site has been messing up. I don't know why. These, uh, it's supposed to have little icons for the programs, but some of them aren't showing up. But, you know, someone should fix it. It's a wiki. I'm not going to do it. But actually, I don't think people have updated this wiki recently, but uh, it still has a lot of good information. It lists out things by categories and, you know, just different music players, different file managers, different everything that you might want to check out. And again, this is more like, I guess, introductory level stuff. They also have some other pages. For example, they have one on Rising. You might want to check this one out uh, or just check out the wiki generally. It has some program recommendations, I think, at the very bottom, like what do people typically use when you see screen fetch images on G or whatever. Uh, but this is sort of, I guess, more basic stuff um, when you're just getting into to configuring your system. But it still might be worth checking out. So anyway, that's about it. Again, there's no there's no secret. It's not like I consult any of these pages specifically, but they're just pages I've happened to have found useful. If you, again, if you have any questions about my specific setup, feel free to ask, but hopefully you can check these out and get your own ideas. But anyway, so that's about it, and I'll see you guys next time.